So you may have heard of Richard Wright, author of Native Son and Black Boy. His daughter, Julia Wright, has delivered this message to my brothers, sisters, siblings of MOVE. Yesterday, I was able to tell a gathering in Paris of sisters and brothers from the French colonies, Martinique, Guadalupe, Guyana, Coyote, Reunion, New Caledonia, and Polynesia about what has happened to the bones of your babies. I told them about the darkness of white supremacy. I told them that since slavery, we have been black antigenes across crossing over into the forbidden city to claim the remains of our slain ones, to bury them with our ancestral rights, because beyond the laws of the masters, there are moral laws. That's right. And we are writing these laws with our flesh. Yes. Here are some words of feedback concerning your ordeal from the representative of Linda Peltier in France, Sylvian Duez. This is solidarity. Julia, what you told us at our gathering yesterday about the bones of the moon children made my blood ice cold. All of my thoughts go to move. At the time you were speaking, I was standing with my sisters and brothers from Kanaki, New Macedonia, and what move is going through is an echo of their struggle to retrieve the head of their chief, Atai. His head had been sent to the Museum of Man in Paris, but then, but was then allegedly lost and was only recently handed back from the French government to his tribe. I was also reminded of the skulls of Geronimo and Pancho Villa, still detained by white supremacists at Yale University. Fuck these universities. Fuck these universities. The student fraternity of skulls and bones to which the Bush dynasty belongs. All of these white supremacists. Fuck, us. Fuck them all. This system steals lives, but it also steals our dead. Our strength is nourished by our anger. This is not an error. This is not even an insult. It is a crime against our right as humans to mourn the children born to us. It is deliberate torture and the continuity of so many million bones we were not able to bury and mourn that lie today unclaimed at the bottom of the Middle Passage. In the continuity of so many of our skulls studied to prove our alleged animality. In the continuity, in the continuity of the removal of our mumias to dark dungeons, turning us into a people roaming as headless as a Kanaki tribe without those we, cho we chose to direct us with love from across the Middle Passage, Julian. Y'all about ready to take the streets? Yeah.